Hi, my name is Tim Elder. I'm the National Sales Manager for Somerset Professional Grills. And I want to take a minute today to show you how to hook up the rotisserie option for this grill. So what you're going to need for this is just a Phillips screwdriver. And you, the screws are already installed in the grill. So all you're going to do is back these out. Probably could have used an electric screwdriver, but this will work. This is the bracket that comes with your rotisserie motor, and it has two holes that fit perfectly for the diameter of the screws you're going to use. Take your Phillips screwdriver, insert it through the hole that's a little bit larger than the screw. I like to get one screw started. Then line up the second screw. Sometimes easier said than done. And then I just tighten it up. Not all the way tight. You want it a little bit loose so you can line up your spit rod when you're done. So I'm just going to Snug it up. They have so it's a, got a little bit of play in it. And what we're going to do here is raise up your warming rack so it's out of the way. Grab a hold of your spit rod. Put your motor in, set it on the bearings. Okay, now it's lined up in its position. So what you want to do now is grab your screwdriver and tighten those screws up that you already had in there. Now it's good in place. We can give it a try and there you go. You're all set. The rotisserie motor is a great item to have in your grilling arsenal, if you will. And I think you're going to enjoy it when you put one in. It's rated for 100 pounds, believe it or not. So you could put a small pig on that thing. It's a great tool to use when you're having a, a party. You want to enjoy the party and be the hero at the end. The rotisserie motor will help you do that. Until we talk next time, good grilling.